We're here with Kate Mitchell, the winning goalie in today's 2-1 win over Liberty. Kate, congratulations on your first career win. Thank you very much. How did it feel to get out there between the pipes and get that first career W? It was great. I mean, our team still has a lot to work on, but we're coming together as a team, and we're just really pumped for this year. Now, you mentioned you know, being ready for the year. Opening day, it's got to be nice to get back out on the field and play against somebody other than your own teammates. It is, and it's nice to start off a season on this field. It's such a great field, but, I mean, it's just – it was a great day, even though it didn't really end up how we wanted it to. I mean, we still won, but we could have really pushed a lot more. There was little mistakes, but as a, all in all, I'm happy. We got the win. The team's great, so. All right, now you start out the season with a few straight home games and then uh, another long stretch a little later in the year. What's it going to be like, do you think, playing you know, so many games at home as opposed to traveling for every game, home or away? It's great to stay home because then we don't have the fatigue of traveling and we're able to come out here and practice as much as we need to and do individuals and really focus on those skills. And then also all of our parents are here and our friends come from school. Even just the people like walk by to go to class, sometimes they stop. And all the support is great just to be here on this field. Coach, can you talk a little bit about Friday's win over Binghamton and Sunday's win over Villanova? Sure. On Friday, we asked them um, to stay composed because we know they play a very direct style of play. So we asked them, we've been over and over saying bring the ball down, possess it on our turf, keep, keep control of the ball. Um, and I thought we did a much better job of that on Friday. And we kept playing fast and um, we found some opportunities to score and we were really strong defensively. We don't let teams get behind us, which is good. Um, and we had a very good shutout. Neil in our back four and our holding center mids did a great job to defend. We're really team defending well this year. And then Villanova, it always feels good to beat a Philly team. Um, I think this may be the first time that they've come here since I've been here. Um, it might be the last, but I, we're really excited that, you know, on our home field, we took it to them and we never gave up. We put players in that just naturally sparked. It was a, a little bit of a kind of dead Sunday game. And then we put some players in like Ali Yozwiak and Kirsten Fermento and Shannon Westhead that came in and sparked the team up and changed things up. And can you talk a little bit about the team now going on the road, just having some momentum to start the season? Yeah, I think we're really excited, obviously, where we're at, but we keep telling the team we have a very long away season, especially in 8-10s. We have five away games and four home games, so we know that we need to learn how to win on the road, and I think we're just going to try and put in their heads there's no difference between home and away, come up with our routine for away games, and we're excited to just keep going at them. Coach, coming off the two scrimmage wins and then the win the other day and coming off the loss now, how do we you know, bounce back and head towards Saturday's game? I think we just need to regroup. Uh, one of the things we just talked about was that you know, we totally got off our game plan. Uh, we needed to make some adjustments. NJIT threw some different things at us that uh, you know, kind of exposed us and uh, our lack of ability to make adjustments in the game. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, they, we, you know, we had a, a silly giveaway, giveaway goal, and uh, they had one good opportunity. So I felt like, uh, as far as creating chances, it was pretty even. Uh, they out, they outmatched us physically. I think was the difference in the game. And uh, you know, we just need to regroup. We've been doing a lot of good things, and uh, we need to get back on track and, uh, and focus on our next match. So it's always a learning process. And, and, uh, and we've been doing a lot of good things and we just need to get back on track in a positive way. Uh, what will we really need to focus on for St. Francis on Saturday? Uh, we need to get better possession in the middle third of the field. Um, you know, we, we, we tend to lose momentum that way, so we need to develop uh, some rhythm and some tempo in the game and it starts in the middle of the field and, and today we, we couldn't establish that. Uh, defensively we had some breakdowns that we need to address in film in our film sessions and uh, you know offensively we've created some chances and we just need to capitalize on the chances we create. <laughs>